Okay, so this is number 51 from chapter 1. I copied number 51 right here onto this paper. These are the questions that come from each part, A through F. And I did that so then I can go in the textbook and I can go to the very last page right here to some useful conversion factors and relationships because I'm going to need to look some of these pieces up as we go. Letter A, five day. And we want to know how many seconds that is. So we'll put day down here. And I'm going to go from day to hour first because I know how many hours there are in a day. And then I'll go from hours to seconds because I know how many seconds there are in an hour. And in one day, of course, there are 24 hours. The days cancel with the days. And in one hour, there are 60 times 60 or 3,600 seconds. Punch those into your calculator and you end up with 4.32 times 10 to the fifth seconds. Let me see if I can get a five in there. There we go. I could do that one without looking anything up in time right here just because those are things you probably already knew. Letter B then. 0 0.055 miles to meters. So if I look at my length right here, I have a relationship between kilometers and miles right here, or kilometers and miles right here. And so I'm going to go from mile to kilometer, and then I'm going to go from kilometers to meters, because I know I can relate kilometers and meters pretty easily by using my metric reference chart. So first of all, in miles, there are, I'm sorry, in um, one mile, there are 1.6093 kilometers, this relationship right here in one mile. And then in meters and kilometers, I can look on here, meter, of course, is a base unit, and kilometers right up here, and since this is the small unit, there's going to be 1,000 or 10 to the third meters in one of the kilometers. So 1 times 10 to the third meters in one kilometer right here. you got to do that part in your calculator and multiply times 10 to the third. And so letter B, once you run it through your calculator, ends up being 88.5 meters. 88.5 meters. I'm just going to move this a little bit this way, a little bit more room to work. And then we'll go to letter C. And in this one we have 1.89 dollars per gallon and I know that in the problem it had the dollar sign out front here and I almost wrote it that way but it's always good when you have something that has money per something else is to write the money as a set of units per whatever value it is and then you can treat it like a like a set of units and you'll notice that it doesn't change we still have dollars and dollars right here the only thing that's going to change is gallons to liters and so we want gallons to be in a position where it's going to cancel so it's going to go up here and our desired unit right here goes on the bottom and then to find our relationship between liters and gallons we need to go here to uh, our SI volume units and you can see that a gallon is 3.7854 liters so in one gallon there are 3.7854 liters. Divide those, and then we're going to have dollar per liter remaining. And so when you run that on your calculator, you end up with 0.499 to three significant digits because you got three right here. 51 letter D, 0 0.510 inches per millisecond, so that's what MS is right here. Multiply sign, put a line, and I have to go from inches to kilometers and milliseconds to hours. I'll do inches to kilometers first, but we're going to need some relationships up here. I don't think that they have inches to kilometers right in here, but we would know how to go from inches to feet, and then we could go uh, let's see, from feet to miles, and then from miles to kilometers. That's one way to go. I'm sure there's other ones. We could go from inches to centimeters, I suppose, and then centimeters to kilometers. A um, couple different ways to go, but let's try that one. Let's go inches down here, and let's go to centimeters, since that one caught my eye right here. So in one inch, there are 2.54 centimeters. And this, the reason this says exactly is because it means that that's an infinite number of significant digits for 2.54. And then we'll go from centimeters right here to kilometers, which is our desired unit right up here. 
centimeters will cancel with centimeters, inches with inches right here. And to get centimeters to kilometers, remember centi is a small unit right here. We have to go up to kilo, and you can see this would be 10 to the 2 to get us to the base unit. And then from here up to here would be 10 to the 3rd. So add the exponents. 2 plus 3 is 10 to the 5th. So there are 1 times 10 to the 5th of the small unit in one of the big units right here. And then our last one is to go from milliseconds to hours. And notice that's on the bottom. So we've got to get the milliseconds to cancel. So we'll put milliseconds up here. And I'm going to first go from milliseconds to seconds because I know that relationship. Milli, of course, means 10 to the negative third. So there are 10 to the third of the small unit in the big unit, which second, of course, could be a base unit right here. So there are 10 to the third of the millis in one of the seconds. And then lastly, down here, notice how I got my millis to cancel with my millis. I'll put seconds in a position where it's going to cancel on the top. And then I want to know hours right here. So I'll put hours right down here. And there's 30 seconds, 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour. So that would be 3,600 seconds in one hour. Now, there are other ways to go about this. As I told you before, we could have gone from inches to feet and then feet to miles and then miles to kilometers. Um, we could have, I, I think seconds this is about the only way to go, but this is one way to get it done. And if you run this through on your calculator and are very careful of the order of operations, you should end up with, let's see, letter D right here, 46.6 .6 kilometers per hour. That's a long one. Now letter E. Let's slide this one up right here so we can just see E. E says 22.50 gallons per minute. I'm a big fan of always writing it like this with the line going over everything so you know what's on the top and what's on the bottom. And then gallons, of course, is going to have to go in a position where it's going to cancel and we're going to have to go to liters. And let's look over here under volume to see if they have a relationship between gallons and liters. Yes, they do. So we'll put gallons in a position where it's going to cancel. Liters is our new set of units. And we can see in one gallon there are 3.7854 liters. Put a multiply sign, put a line here for the next one. And now we're going to have to go from minutes to seconds. And notice we want seconds on the bottom. So put seconds down here in a position of our desired units and minutes up here where they're going to cancel and then there are 60 seconds in a minute. Try that on your calculator and you should end up with 1.420 1 1.420 4 sig figs just like the start here liters per second. Last one, letter F, a cubed unit. We have 0 0.0 Two five zero zero, and that's feet cubed. Put a multiply sign, put a line, put feet in a position where it's going to cancel. Put cubic centimeters as our new set of units, but don't cube it yet. I'm not sure whether there's a relationship here between feet and centimeters. If you look in here, I don't see feet in there anywhere, but I do know that we could go from feet to inches because I know how many inches there are in a foot, and so do you. And then once we go to inches, you can see that there's an inch to a centimeter right here. And so I could put inches in a position where it's going to cancel centimeters as my new set of units. And that relationship would be for every one inch, 2.54 centimeters. Careful of this. Cubed. And then there's 12 inches in a foot. Careful of this. Cubed. Now when I cube it, remember that means the 12's cubed, the inches are cubed, the 1's cubed, and the feet are cubed. This 2.54 is cubed, the centimeters cubed, the 1 cubed, and the inches cubed. And then the inches cubed will cancel with the inches cubed, the feet cubed will cancel with the feet cubed. And then make sure to do this first and get a num number, get through this second, get that a number, and then multiply the 3 together. And then if you do that very carefully in your calculator, I believe you end up with 707.9 cubic centimeters to 4 sig digs. That's 51.